Hi, this is Mike and Betty Ann, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a ride out to the St. Sebastian River Preserve. Maybe we'll even catch a few manatees. Right. Stay tuned. So uh, we've just left. It's uh, we've got the uh, rolling into retirement crew here with us today. Myself, Betty Ann, and in the back is Nina. I don't know if you can see her yet, but uh, we're going to be heading out to the uh, Saint Sebastian Preserve. Uh, it's in. It's actually right. It's in Fellsmere, or it's right outside of Fellsmere. Uh, as we head there, we'll show you a little bit of the town of Fellsmere as we go through. Uh, and then when we get to the park, there's a long dirt road, maybe three or four miles, I think, that is that we'll be heading to, to get to this little uh, dam. And that's usually where manatees congregate, although the last time we went there, we didn't see any. Uh, but we did see a pretty enormous alligator, so we'll check it out. Well, so we're now in the town of Fellsmere. Uh, Fellsmere hosts every January a uh, Frog's Leg Festival, and if you go to our blog, rollingintoretirement.com, uh, you might connect to a uh, video there that shows a couple of uh, pictures of uh, uh, us chomping down on the uh, frog's legs. And don't forget, they have a rodeo, too. We haven't hit that yet, though. They do have a rodeo, yes. We're actually heading west. Uh, on uh, this uh, County Road 512. We're gonna make a right here at the sign that says Fellsmere. And we're gonna take you, this will take us down a little street, small town street of Fellsmere. Nice little restaurant over here on the left. Called Marsh Landing. We ate there, remember they had alligator on the menu. We did eat there. Uh, the alligator. Uh, we did try a little alligator at the Frog's Legs Festival. A little, little rich, a little gamey for me. The frog's legs were a little bit more like chicken. But once was enough. Once was enough. We can say we did it. We can say we did it. Correct. Now this road 507 actually will bear north for a bit. Once we get to it, we'll actually make a right. It'll, it'll bear north and take us towards the park, but it'll run parallel to Route 95, I, uh, Interstate 95. And actually you can take that 507 north up to what's called Mico Road, M-I-C-C-O, make a right and it'll take you straight back to uh, east towards Route 1. Stick Marsh C-54 Canal. I don't know if we ever knew the name of that canal, but I think no. that's perhaps what it's called. So we'll we'll double check that. And once we figure out what it is, we'll have the answer to that in the comments below. So while we're heading towards the canal and the park, we want to ask you if you like this video, don't hesitate to smash that thumbs up button to like the video and also uh, click that subscribe button and the little bell so that will let you know when new videos come out. Isn't that right, Betty Ann? That's right. All right. Please How about you, Nina? That. Correct? Correct. We heard her woof. She'll give you a little poof. Yeah, actually, don't do it for me. Subscribe for Nina. Out this way are quite a few uh, horse farms. There's actually a horse farm community not far off of Mickle Road that we saw the last time. Oh, that's right, the equestrian. Mm -hmm. This was an equestrian, equestrian community. community. It's just beautiful country out in this area. And you're really still only about five miles west of the Indian River.
We're now entering the St. Sebastian River State Park. A little visitor center, maybe it's even open today. Yeah, we should check out, we'll give a quick park and just check out the little uh, signage here. All right, well, Nina, you've arrived at the St. Sebastian Preserve State Park. Aren't you excited? <laughs> Let's get going. Okay. We want to find some manatees. Okay, so yeah, so we've arrived at the St. Sebastian Preserve State Park. Beautiful day. Yeah. And we're going to take a ride along the canal. Uh, my memory is it's about a three or four mile uh, trek. We'll at one point go under uh, Highway 95. Let's go take a look. Here we are at the visitor center. Nina is always up for an adventure. All right, so uh, let's go take a look at the manatees. What do you say? She's excited. <laughs> we hooked Nina in with, with the bungee that Betty Ann purchased online. So she's safe. And we have a video about that too. Yeah. We'll put a link to that video down in the comments below. Yeah. They call this the real Florida. Lots of primitive sites, lots, many uh, different trails that you can take horses. People, there must be uh, some kind of campsites out there where you could maybe stay overnight if you had a permit. Somebody's in a hurry to see the manatees, but that's okay. <laughs> so the road we're driving along that CK Canal uh, is called Buffer Preserve Drive. Uh, obviously unpaved, you can see it, but uh, it's about the first time we took it, we didn't know where it was going. We actually <laughs> Until turned we around, saw right? Highway 95 and then we realized where we were. So let's sit back and enjoy some of the ride. So here we are, yes, arriving at the uh, dam. Looks like there's quite a few people here already. We can certainly park right over here.
They're kind of hard to see. They said there were some along the banks, some swimming out. See where you see those patterns? We'll, we'll take a walk in a little bit out that way like we did the last time, you know? He said there were a couple over there by the sign in the shady area. If they're there, they're going to come up there. Yeah. I see one's coming up right behind the sign. One alligator? Yeah. Pretty big alligator. That we thought was a stick. Yeah, there is one uh, manatee for sure. Maybe two that are out by that side. In that area. This far back in, it's pretty cold. Yeah. They do come in here when the, in the, in the air has been really cool. They said they like this, the low salt content uh -huh. of the water here. And they're free of boat traffic, so they're not worth getting hit by the boats, which is a problem for manatees. when they go up you see their tails. Yeah. That little splurge of water there. did see a couple of alligators out the last time we were yes, here we and then behind us there's some horseback riders uh, we won't head closer with Nina because we don't know if those horses are used to dogs or not but uh, and they don't seem to be coming any close to us so. uh, you can see them come up little nose. This is the direction the uh, horses came from. It looks like a very sturdy bridge. No, but it held the horses. It should help us. A very pretty rickety old bridge right here. I'm sure there's probably a few manatees out that way. I think what I'm going to do, though, uh, we didn't see too many manatees out at this point today. They're there, and we'll continue to look. But what I'll do, interspersed in this video, is I'll put some shots 
of manatees from DeSoto Park that we took last year so you can actually get a little idea of what they look like as well and they really were taken by us. side of the canal but there's about four or five of them there you can actually see them start to come up there's about three or four little four. little blobs yeah yeah that's where you see them yeah. and then they dive down yeah As I said, we do have video of some from DeSoto Park where you really are up close and personal with them. But this area is just a beautiful spot that it's worth just to drive to just to see the how gorgeous the back fields are here at the St. Sebastian Park. Just beautiful. Let's take a walk around the other side. Nina's been enjoying her walk. She loves it out here. Yeah. Manatees tend to stay underwater for a while, but they do at some point have to surface to get some air. There's your manatee. There is your manatee. Yep, there he is. Yeah. Just needed to come up, his nose come up just enough to get the air. And he's back under again. Manatees, you won't see them do big giant leaps. Well, that's why they're actually nicknamed a sea cow. Now, I know you all came for manatees, and I wish we could have shown you a little bit more up close and personal, but as I promised, I want to show you some manatees that we saw last year at DeSoto Park in January up close and personal. Enjoy it.
there you have it, our trip to the St. Sebastian State Park. Right here in uh, Felsmere, and we hope you enjoyed the manatees that we were able to find for you, as well as the walk and the drive in and out of the park. Uh, also, uh, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to our channel and hit that little uh, alarm bell so you'll know when we put up some other videos. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.